right. Yes. So, everything's been tried? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's no sign of a fracture or a concussion. There's nothing wrong with my spine. No tumors, no foreign bodies, no gross, nothing. Now, this ringing, it uh, happens every night? Every night. At the same time? Yes. And are you positive it's a telephone ringing? It is a telephone ringing. Try answering it then. Hello? Well, finally. Oh my god. Take it easy. Now, don't get yourself in an uproar. There's a simple explanation. Still there? Yeah, yeah. Good. Who is this? The name's not important right now. I'm not allowed to tell you anyways. Why, why is that? Take it easy, you're getting yourself upset for nothing. I told you there's a simple explanation. And what is that? Okay, here's what's going on. It's a government project, a secret project. It goes without saying, you'll have to keep it quiet, and it's a matter of security. I won't go into background. You know the situation in the world. A government maintains a constant policy of espionage. We have to know what's happening on the other side. Just listen, we have agents all around the globe sending us information. The transmission of their messages has always been a risk. Any device they use can be detected sooner or later, which is why we're always experimenting with inner brain communication. Inner brain communication? Yes, a method by which agents can transmit information with no risk whatever of being intercepted. I don't mean telepathy or anything like that. I'm talking about a microscopic insert. What? Relax. It never showed up on your medical tests. It's certainly too small to bother you. <laughs> you're probably wondering why we're choosing you for this experiment. Actually, you're not the only one. I can't tell you how many there are, but the number is considerable. As to how you were chosen, it was a mathematical random generator. I don't understand. To be perfectly candid, only a few of you have reached the stage of answering our call. The rest are still fixated at the point of thinking it's a physical affliction, making endless rounds of doctor visits. Congratulations on being creative enough to answer the ringing. 
It is that of an actual telephone, by the way. But... We never asked you, and we're sorry if it disturbed you. Still, under the circumstances, we couldn't very well have asked you permission. Any rate, we won't be bothering you as much now. The connection has been made. For how long? I'm sorry. That's not my decision. No! I've had five days of peace! Yes. You don't have to show. For God's sake. Take it easy. Easy? This phone's been ringing in my head for the last ten minutes straight. Five. Well, why? I've been busy. You're not the only line I have to deal with, you know? I I'm sorry, you... Why'd you keep ringing me then? Oh. I was ringing you? I didn't realize. I was wondering what happened to you. I, I, thought, I thought I knew what it was. Um, I thought I had to keep it quiet. Keep what quiet? It, uh, it, it started when I finally answered the call. Um, when I visualized the phone, just like you said. I, I, I'm still not sure I'm making a mistake uh, telling you this. Um, but he's driving me crazy. He's ringing me every single night, 3 a.m. to 6 a.m., without even answering the phone. You believe this? You believe it's a secret government project? Well, I, I, I don't know. That, that's what he said. David, does it really make sense to you? Yeah, it does. It, I pick up the phone. He answers. I hear the man's voice. I, I don't understand. David, think about this. A secret government project? Microscopic implants? But I hear the man's voice. David, not to alarm you, but... Hearing voices in one's head has been a symptom for a long time. Yes. We're very displeased with you. But, but, you were asked not to say anything about the project, weren't you? Weren't you? But... You were told it was a matter of national security. Yet you still told that therapist. How do you know? Figure it out. If we can hear you when you speak to us... Every single word I say? Do you know what he told me? Do you know what he thinks you are? Sure. I'm not Agent 25409J. I'm not William G. Lonsdale. I'm not married with three children. I don't work for the CIA. I'm your goddamn subconscious mind. Jesus, Milliman, what the hell's the matter with you? All right, listen to me. We're going to try to cut off the circuit. We've been trying for a week now. That's why I haven't spoken to you. I'll put it on my priority, now that you've blabbed to your therapist about us. Jesus, Milman. Don't you see, David? He was acting angrily because he was exposed. But he, he said he was going to cut me off the grid. He won't cut you off. He has things to say. What if I don't want to listen to him anymore? But David, you've been given a great opportunity to engage in dialogue with your own subconscious. What if, what if he keeps picking on me? Hang up on him. Hello. Thank you for answering. I apologize for speaking out of turn during our last conversation. It was uncalled for. Yeah, it was. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm going to level with you. This government project thing, it's all a lie. There's no such thing. Your Dr. Palmer was correct. It doesn't make sense. Microscopic telephones planted secretly into people's brains? I can't believe you bought it. I will tell you what it is, though. I won't give you a name because I'm afraid you'd report it to the police. 
They'd lock me up and throw away the key. They found out what I was doing. What are you talking about now? I'm an inventor. <clears throat> I've developed an apparatus which radiates shortwave energy that penetrates the mind of anyone the beamer is directed at. Enabling two-way conversation with them. You're the first. I know this is hard to believe as the government project idea. The government would love to get their hands on this. I guarantee you. I destroy it first, though. It gives me the creeps thinking about what the government could do with this. Bullshit! I don't believe this story anymore. You're no inventor. I believe the others. My therapist was right the whole time. You're my own. You fool. You f goddamn fool. You just can't leave well enough alone, can you? You can't just do this my own way. No, not you. You're too smart for that. Well, you're not smart. You're not smart at all. You're so fucking stupid. You've always been stupid. You're a stupid boy now, and you're a fucking stupid man, Davey. You're an idiot. Uh, I have to tell you something uh, I haven't told you before uh, about my family. Yes. My mother suffered from a disassociated consciousness. I mean, I mean, she, she was a psychic. Uh, I won't go into much detail about it, but um, she proved it many times. Go on. I think, I think I've probably inherited her uh, abilities. You're suggesting... No, uh, no I, I'm telling you. It, it's not a government project, exactly what you said. Instead? It, it's, it's my father. So what you're suggesting is that your father is communicating with you from the other side, as it were. I do. Well, let's talk about it. I'm here. That was prompt. I know who you are. You do? Yes, I do. Father. So you caught me then. What? Why are you doing this? You ask such a question, Davy. Is it so difficult to comprehend? D dad I want you to listen to me now. Are you listening? Yes. The reason I'm calling you is that I want you to be aware of certain things. What things? You don't know? No, I don't. I'll have to tell you then. Davy, you're a loser. What? I have to explain? You leave me no choice. I'll lay it on the line. You married a bitch. You let her bleed you dry in every way. You let her poison the minds of your two sons against you. You let her d the divorce procedures take you to the fucking cleaners. You let her rip away your goddamn manhood. And on top of that, you're a loser at your job and you let that moron boss of yours kick you around like a ball. You scrape to him and let him treat you like a piece of dog shit. Davy, don't bother to deny it. You know it's all true. You're a loser in every way. Can you deny... Any word I've spoken, sonny boy? D d dad Don't you d d d dad me, you fucking loser. I'm ashamed to call you me my son. Thank God I'm dead and I don't have to see you getting kicked around each day. Don't. Dad, don't. I don't do this usually. You know my le method to let you find the answer yourself. However, I feel as though I simply can't allow this to proceed the way it's going. I have to say something to you. I have to say, enough, David. I don't believe any more than I believe it was a government project or an isolated inventor. Then your father is communicating with you from beyond the grave. I believe, as I have from the beginning, that your subconscious 
mind has found a way to speak with you, trying to come up with some sort of resolution to your mental problems. But it hits his voice. David, you believe the voice sounded like Agent 2504J. Well, what should I do? Confront it. Stop listening and suffering and talk back. Start retaliating. Demand answers, explanations. Speak up for yourself. It's your subconscious, David. Hear it out, but don't let it harass you. Take control. I'm here. Are you Davy? Cut it out. Oh. You're not my father. I'm not? No, you're not. Who am I then? King of Siam? I don't know who you are, but you're not my father. You've always been a stupid boy. You're not my father. Who am I then? Me. Your subconscious mind? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Who are you, goddammit? <laughs> I'm an inventor. No, stop it! I'm a secret agent. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Crawl and I'm speaking to you from Mars. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging up! You can't hang up. It's too late for you. <laughs> you should be frightened. I'm going to kill you. No! No, you can't do this! It's too late to not gaming your own mind. You can't get me if I'm asleep. <laughs> you can't escape me now. <laughs> Two pills, Davy? You'll have to do better than that. <laughs> Not half enough, old boy. Let me in for too long. <laughs> Your wish is my command. Yes? Please! <laughs> please. Please what? P please let me back! <laughs> After all the hard work I did? No! Never, asshole! You're stuck out of here for good! No! Gotta go, babe. Things to do. <laughs> Won't be needing that anymore. Better get a hold of that bitch ex-wife.